let's continue to go ahead and adjust our mates for the steel steel base parts that you're seeing here for the base as well as for the vertical also additionally we probably need to come back in and change definitely need to come back in and change the uh, spacing so that the uh, letters are centered up on the steel base plates as well so let's get started so first thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to modify the vertical plate here so we have that straightened out so let's go ahead and do a measurement using our tape measure which is also in the evaluate um, measure command here so we'll go ahead and click on this uh, line there We'll come over here and click on this edge here and that gives us a distance of 3.75 inches so three and three quarter inches so we'll go ahead and highlight this get that selected there copy that and what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to kill that I'm going to come over here and select uh, the vertical part and I'm going to open that up so as I open up that file, I'm then going to go and modify that sketch and correct that sketch. So here's the part as you see here, and as you can kind of tell, we've got some extrusions there for you know the holes, and we've got the fillets there on the corner edges, and then we come up here and we've got uh, we'll select this here, and we've got the uh, the angle cut down at the bottom on the chamfer for the weld bead. So we'll go ahead and collapse those, and obviously the sketch we need to correct is this one here. So we'll open up that sketch, which basically does a partial roll back. Now notice the dimensions at four point uh, and a quarter, 4.25. So I'll double click on that dimension, and I'll go ahead and do a control V and paste in that value that I selected from my measurement in the assembly of the vertical part. So it goes ahead and it modifies that. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, accept of that dimensional change. I'll go ahead and hit the F key to zoom out a little bit and fit that on my screen. And I'll go ahead and do a rebuild. And it will go back and reproduce the geometry that we had for that part. And of course, we definitely need to save that part. So now that that change has occurred, let's go ahead and go back to the assembly and see where we are at this time. So I'll go ahead and accept that. And definitely it has changed the assembly file and you can see the relationship accordingly. Now let's go ahead and do uh, a control 7 which puts us in isometric view and let's kind of come over here and look at this side. Yeah that looks pretty good. Uh, we've obviously made some changes to this part here in this assembly and you can see it reflecting on this side. So let's quickly now go in and let's review the mates on that particular base plate. So we'll select this and from there, you've got distant mates for other parts and stuff. We've got vertical mates for um, our different uh, pieces here. Like you can obviously got the, the mate for um, the weld bead. And then here you've got a distance mate for that side. Now, what I can do is, and you can also see the vertical mate, uh, coincident mate of the vertical steel piece, and then as well as uh, that mate there where it lays flat on top of the wood base. This is probably the one we need to change here. So we'll write, uh, we'll click on that and we'll come up here and we'll go down and we'll change that particular mate. Now, probably the best way to do that is we got that mate up here is to kind of rotate this around and see it a little bit and maybe zoom up on that edge and kind of take a look. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to, we have got the base plate right there, the steel plate right there, and I've got the uh, booking here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete, I'm going to clear all these, uh, all these pieces out here, just get rid of that. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to rotate this around slightly, I'm going to grab that face on this particular part of the base plate there, and I'll grab that mate there on the actual part here. Now as you can tell, uh, it set at a quarter of an inch and it basically left the same dimensions that were in there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip that dimension around and I'm going to move it back a quarter of an inch as you can see. It just moved back. So let's zoom out here and take a look at it and kind of rotate this around and see if we're proportionally in the correct area. It actually looks like we are. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that and we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, view mate uh, window. Hit the F key and we'll see where we stand. 
don't want to do that. It's my recent documents. So I'll go back here. And what I'll do is, and I'll just kind of rotate this around, and I'll get, you know, maybe a top view, looking at my top view there. And from what I can tell, it looks like we got it centered up where we need it to be, so that's good. Now, if you notice, I've got perspective set here. If I take that off on there, you can see basically I'm looking top down on it, which does actually give me a more proportional view of my layout. So now what we want to do is we know that it's 3.75. Here's what we want to do at this time. We want to roll out here, come around to the R, and we've got to change the mate on the letter R or your first initial. So we'll view mates on that. And we obviously have a dimension, uh, we have the mate here set up for this edge here. If I hover over that, the orange on the letter R and the purple on the base steel plate. So let's just right mouse click and we're going to change that particular uh, mate. So right now, what we do know is that we can kind of create a little equation here. We can say that 3.75 uh, divided by 2 and we can subtract from that half of an eighth of an inch. So we'll say minus 0 0.0625 should be the correct distance. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Let's see what happens. Yes, it actually moved over. You can see it right there. We'll go ahead and select, we'll go ahead and accept that. So accepted that, go ahead and close that out. Let's go back and look at our top view again. Yeah, that looks good. So we've got this guy's uh, moved over correctly, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing now for the letter P. So we'll come over here, kind of get this oriented the way we need, and we'll uh, come over here on the P, and we'll do view mates. So it brings that up, and obviously we've got that distance there. And I can't remember what that measurement was, but I know what the equation is, so that's, that's half the battle. So we're going to come over here and we're going to say uh, an equation, we're going to say, put a bracket out here, 3.75 minus, or excuse me, divided by 2, close bracket, and we'll say minus 0 0.0625, which is half of, uh, which is half of, of an eighth of an inch. Go ahead and click that off, and there you can see the part actually moved over. Looks good. We'll accept that mate, and we'll close this out. And I think we're looking pretty good now. Let's go ahead and look at a top view just to verify. Yep, that looks good. So we'll go back to isometric view here. There's triometric. Let's go back to ISO. And we'll kind of come up and move around and look at that. Yeah, it looks good. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to put our six screw holes, you know, our screws, excuse me, into this part here, into that, uh, to hold the steel down. And what we'll also do is, let's go ahead and look at it in perspective, kind of rotate this up around. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. We'll come back and add that. Mm -hmm.